So I have before me the Dell XPS 13 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Now I hope this video really clarifies which one you're going to buy. And I'm gonna walk through all the features and functionality of each of the laptops. Then we'll get into the performance details later in the video. Now, first and foremost, the thin and lightness of these laptops would surprise you that even though the Galaxy Book is a 15 inch laptop, it actually is slightly thinner here right along the backside. The Dell XPS kind of lifts up along the back. And so it's crazy how thin and light the Galaxy Book is. And it's gonna amaze you how much performance it packs later in the video. So punch for punch on the slimness of the laptop, the Galaxy Book wins out. Now this is the 15 inch model and yes, the 13 will be just as slim. All I had was the 15 available. So please bear with me as yes, 13 versus 15. I know, I know, but they have the same CPU inside. So that helps with the performance comparison. All right, as far as build quality is concerned, they're both aluminum laptops. As you can see on the bottom cover of the XPS, fit nicely into the side panel. Uh, very well designed. XPS has been a favorite of mine for many years. It's actually the first laptop I had when I switched over from Apple to Windows quite a few years ago. Now, uh, as far as the tap test is concerned, very well assembled. Passes the tap test very well. Um, putting the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 to the tap test. passes the tap test as well. Now, looking at the assembly of the bottom cover into the side panel does that very well too. Um, it is assembled very similar to the Dell XPS with no catchy edge. Now, speaking of the exterior of the laptops, let's check out the ports. We have two USB type C ports on the Dell XPS 13 plus, uh, where we have three USB type C ports on the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. We also have a headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. So as far as connectivity is concerned, so a little bit more connectivity on the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Now, as you pull open the interior of the laptops, here's a quick audio sample of me using the webcam on each of the laptops so you can see how they look. This is the webcam on the Dell XPS 13 Plus and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on this Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 and of course, a little sample of the microphone for you. In regards to the speakers on each of the laptops, here's a quick audio sample of the both of the speakers in use. Now the keyboards are substantially different. We have a full size numpad on the Book 2, uh, whereas we don't have the full size numpad and we actually have more of a consolidated keyboard on the Dell XPS 13 Plus. Now I really, really like the keyboard on the Dell XPS 13 Plus. The keys are slightly larger um, than the Book 2. They're closer together, but it doesn't feel scrunched because they're such large keys, which I really like. The typing experience is very nice on the Dell XPS 13 Plus. I will complain a little bit about the backspace button. Um, I have a tendency to sometimes accidentally tap the power button if I'm like kind of shifted over a little bit on the keyboard. So I had kind of had to get used to that, but otherwise I really like it. Now the trackpads are something that though this is a 13 inch laptop here on the Dell XPS 13 plus, the trackpads are almost the same size. Now the trackpad is hidden on the Dell XPS 13 plus, which I think is one of the coolest features about it. And it actually goes from the space bar all the way to the control key here. So the trackpad is a little bit smaller than the Book 2, um, but it is a 13 inch laptop. So it's nice we still have such a large trackpad on a 13 inch laptop. Love the trackpad on the Book 2. Um, I would say that's one of its highest features to me because it's so nice and large. It's got a nice glass trackpad. It clicks very well, very touch responsive. Um, so I really like it. Now we have more of a uh, medium key press here on the XPS 13 Plus, and there's a little bit of a shorter key press on the Book 2, just from you know, a key tactileness standpoint. So punch for punch though, they both have fingerprint readers, they both have Windows Hello, um, so feature-wise, they are both very good. Now, keep in mind though, however, you do have a quick control of your fan on the Book 2 by pressing the function button and then the fan mode, so you can quickly scroll through your fan modes. The only way you'll be able to control the power modes on the XPS 13 is just by going into the Windows battery and power settings and changing it from either balanced to best power efficiency to best performance. And those do make a little bit of a difference, but not as much of a difference as something like the Book 2 with the actual power modes kind of built into the system rather than just relying on the Windows power mode. So definitely a bonus there for creators with a little bit more control over your system. Now keep in mind they both have very nice screens, the brightness is good, the color gamut range is good. Um, yes, this is a 15 inch screen, 
Uh, it is a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So if you get the 13 inch model, you're still gonna have that 16 by nine aspect ratio. Whereas the Dell XPS 13 plus is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And I like that it gives you a little bit more screen real estate. And overall, I just, I prefer a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, especially with a smaller laptop. On a 15 inch, it doesn't matter as much. You don't really notice it as much, but as you get a smaller laptop, it really starts to, to stand out. Now you can get the full HD version or the OLED version of the Dell XPS uh, 13 plus. And if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the book two um, versus the XPS plus and even the different screen options. I'll put links in the description below and you can check those out. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, before we talk about the thermal temperatures, I don't want to miss out on giving you a quick sample of the keyboard and the trackpad in use on each of these laptops. I'm freaking stoked about the Patreon that we're about to launch. Absolutely. We're launching a freaking Patreon and you should join because it's going to be awesome. We're going to have never before seen content on the channel. Patreon, not channel, channel's YouTube. So why is this content not being posted to YouTube? Well, the answer is really simple. I know that there is a tight group of loyal followers that follow my content and I want to reward and be a part of the tight loyal community that we have been building here as we've been reaching 85,000 subscribers. And I want to go deeper with you guys. I want to do live Q and A's. I want to get face to face with you and chat in a live video call with my most faithful subscribers. I want to repurpose that content and put it on my channel so you can then be featured in my channel with me. I want to do exclusive giveaways that I can't just launch to the masses of communities. There's sometimes I get to keep laptops, but I don't need them. And so it's a place for me to basically just give back to my most loyal community followers. Now let's jump into those 4K export thermal results. As you can see, the Book 2 has a little bit more of a range in the thermal temperature, showing that the function button with the fan mode actually is doing something. It's creating diversity in how the CPU power is managed. Whereas with the battery power modes inside of Windows with the different power modes, it's really not doing that much. I think we see 65 to 67 degrees Celsius. Whereas with the Book 2, we see a lot more range. We see 55 degrees Celsius all the way up to 77 degrees Celsius. Celsius, and it actually affects the export time substantially between those different ranges. Now keep in mind 65 degrees Celsius on the Dell XPS 13 plus is still very good. And so it's not like it's like a big deal that it, you know, it's like at 80 degrees Celsius and you can't get it down. It has a good thermal temperature. So punch for punch, they have kind of their pros and cons between each of them. Now, battery life is one area that we see a little bit of an advantage from the Book 2. Not by a lot, but definitely a little bit. Um, both laptops are very efficient. Both laptops are running the i7-1260P. And so really either one will do well. Um, it just really depends on your preferences of the overall model, especially when, when it concerns the battery life. Now let's go ahead and jump to the performance benchmarks. Looking at Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that the Dell XPS optimizes the processor a little bit more in Geekbench for single core. Um, but then as we get into multi-core, they're pretty much neck and neck. Now, as we move on to Cinebench R23, once again, the Dell XPS pops up a little bit for single core, um, but then on multi-core, they really join back together quite a bit uh, for the multi-core. Now, moving on to the Photoshop benchmark. This is an area where you're gonna get a good bit of improvement off of the Book 2. And I really think that has a lot to do with the control of the fan modes. In high performance mode, you're gonna get about 100 points more in the Photoshop benchmark, which will give you a little bit more efficiency and performance um, inside of that program. Now, it's not gonna be like, night and day, you're not gonna notice tremendous difference. If you do conduct a little bit more intense multiple layers in Photoshop, you're running multiple programs at the same time, maybe you're running Photoshop and InDesign at the same time, or Photoshop and Illustrator, 
then you might get a little bit more performance out of the book too, but they're, they're close. So it's not like this substantial difference. However, if we move into Photoshop, when you're looking at the playback, you get less drop frames out of the Dell XPS 13 plus, than you do the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. The Galaxy Book 2 dropped 239 frames for 4K playback, where the Dell XPS 13 plus dropped 185. So about a hundred points better, nothing like, you know, a huge landslide. Um, both laptops will perform well inside of Premiere Pro as well as Photoshop. Now looking at the 4K export time out of Premiere Pro, you can see you'll save about uh, 10 seconds. So not a big difference there either. So really the biggest difference is the form factor and functionality of these two laptops. Do you like more of the futuristic look with the invisible trackpad and tightly knit keyboard? Or do you like a more classic laptop with a normal looking keyboard, a numpad and a trackpad that you can see? Both laptops have their features and functionalities. So if you need to rewatch the video, watch the webcams, hear the noise, listen to the keyboards, uh, and just you know think about the differences between the two, definitely do that because they are very close as far as the performance they offer, but they have their differences in the features and functionality that they offer. Remember, links are in the description below if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes if this video has brought you some value. And of course, subscribe to the channel because we're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. And I'll see you here in the next video.